did this last year, and it was the first time that I was a part of it. And I, I just couldn't really truly express the words that I was feeling, or what I was feeling in the proper words. This is a real special time, not only for you guys and for the families and friends, but for us as the individuals who run the whales. This is what it's all about. And if, you know, it's funny because uh, he mentioned the, that this is on YouTube, and I was just bopping around YouTube the other day, not looking for anything in particular, and up came 2015 Whaler Science, and I turned it on. That was pretty cool that I was on there, and the boys from last year were on there. And it, it truly is a special moment. This is what uh, people like Kieran and Kyle and, and, and the rest of the Whaler staff work for. This is truly a special moment, and certainly not a time that anyone should take for granted. And really, truly consider it as special. I can't say special enough times. That's how special it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, the past couple of years, we've been coaching these boys, and and it's amazing how, especially during the high school years, where from freshman year to the senior year, the growth as a man, as a physically how tremendous it is from one year to the, to the next. But even more than that, how mentally, everything from, and mentally includes socially and, and just how they end up carrying themselves. It, it, it's amazing the growth. And yes, we're going to give you a little bit of credit, but truly the credit is with you. And you are by far the most wonderful parents that any organization can hope to have. Period. Thank you. Thank you for letting us be a part of this. But these boys, young men, have the character because of you. And you know, make sure that you thank your parents the right way, just by continuing to do what you're doing tonight and what you're going to do the next four years and moving forward. Because without them, this doesn't happen. Forget about coaching on it. Without them, this doesn't happen. Period. Okay. So, again, thank you very much. I want to let Kieran come up and talk about the boys in depth and where they're going and what they're going to do. And I, I really ask to take a few minutes to just thank you guys. To thank you for letting me Okay, again, we want to thank everyone for trucking out here for this. Um, this is the uh, fourth annual Whaler Signing Day. Um, we started this in 2013, um, and it was uh, a special night for us to, it had been something we had been talking about for a while as an organization, something we wanted to uh, put together as, as an event in 2013. We were able to do that uh, when we placed the, uh, the, the, the seven players as early signees back in 2013, um, 2014, 2015 as well. We had great events and here we are in 2016 with um, uh, these five gentlemen here uh, and a sixth who couldn't make it. Um, and we're very, very proud to have them represent our organization, um, not just this year, um, but for years to come. Um, and for the the players who signed in in the past three years, for them to um, you know to to look up in a couple days and remember the night that they had here a couple years ago uh, or last year, or um, and remember their experiences uh, through travel baseball, through school baseball, and what it took to get them where they're at. Um, and two or three years from now, when you guys are in college and you're coming home for Thanksgiving for the first time. Um, you know, you'll, you'll remember back on this night and reflect upon your high school pursuits, uh, your travel baseball pursuits, and um, remember the celebration of what it took to get you here, um, what it took to get you where you're going to be um, your freshman year of, of 
college and wherever it goes from there. However long your career lasts, uh, whether it's uh, just uh, a couple years or, or if you have the, um, the luck or the, uh, or the grace to play beyond college as well. Um, so we're going to go through e each of the uh, gentlemen that are here today uh, to celebrate their, um, their signing day. Um, as well as, uh, as I said, the six who, who could not make it here tonight uh, because of a hockey game, a uh, very competitive hockey game out in New Jersey, Anthony Perino um, as well, so we'll talk a little bit about him. Uh, I want to start off um, by thanking Coach Acevedo for his introduction the second year in a row. I want to thank Jeff Norman who has been with us uh, for every year that we have done this. does a fantastic job, and you guys will see that when you see this um, on the Internet. Uh, in a few days when it is posted. I want to thank uh, the, the Visa family who owns the Whalers, uh, as well as Brandon Kurz who's founded the Whalers, uh, and Dan Miklas for all the great job he does as well. Um, we're going to start off here with Danny Borsowski, who is headed to Concordia University to play Division II baseball in college. <laughs> Danny is a, uh, a two-year Whaler. Uh, he's from Melville, New York. He goes to Walt Whitman High School where uh, he is preparing for his second year of varsity baseball. Um, Danny was a standout pitcher for us here uh, for, for two years in the 2015 and 2016 season. Um, he was a guy who could always get the ball to, um, who uh, liked to have some adventures in the first inning but always uh, wrapped it together uh, and, and put a quality start out there every single time. Um, he's a guy, whether you wanted to throw him on the first game of the tournament or the championship game of the tournament, you need to count on him. Um, he uh, is a member of the honor roll over at Walt Whitman High School. Uh, he also did a year of varsity track in addition to his two years of varsity baseball. Uh, Danny will be headed off to Concordia University in Bronxville, uh, where uh, this is the second year in a row we're sending a player out to Concordia to play for Craig Everett um, in a, a very competitive um, with bat baseball league. Uh, Danny uh, will certainly represent the Whalers proud. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing him pitch and seeing him uh, bring his winning ways to Bronxville and uh, be a big part of their program. If you want to congratulate Danny for signing with us. Uh, next we have Adam Colon from uh, Belport High School. Uh, Adam's a four-year Whaler and he is off to play uh, baseball at uh, Citadel University played Division One baseball on athletic scholarship. Uh, Adam Colon um, has been a whale since he was 14. Um, he uh, has played up each year uh, that he was a whaler. Um, he is going into his fifth year of varsity baseball at Belport High School uh, where he started as an eighth grader. Um, he uh, had success through the, uh, the USA NTIS program um, and represented this area down in, uh, in North Carolina at Cary for the, uh, the USA NTIS program. Um, he's a member of the National Honor Society, the Science Honor Society, as well as the Spanish Honor Society. Um, Adam has always been a competitive player for us. He was a big part of last year's signing crew where he played up with them. Uh, and won several tournaments with them, uh, and we were happy to have him back as a second-year 17 player this year to help be uh, a leader with this crew and a core of this crew so where he could take his championship experiences the years before and kind of do that as uh, the lead piece here. Um, and uh, I think that Adam's teammates will tell you uh, that he always was a strong teammate, um, a reliable teammate, uh, someone who you could look up to, someone who led quietly by example, um, and uh, always an impact player at the plate. Um, and even when you, you gave him the ball on the mound when you needed him, he was willing to do that at all times. Um, he played great defense, played great offense, and like I said, if we needed the game closed out, he was willing to take the ball and do that. Um, truly a championship player, truly a winner, um, a great representative of the Whalers organization. Um, and uh, someone who, you know, we'll all look back, back at as one of the best whalers that we've had. Um, so, Adam Colon headed to Citadel University. We're all very proud of him.
Next we have Matt McQuaid from Chaminade High School. Uh, Matt is from Kings Park. Uh, he is uh, headed to Skidmore University to pitch for them um, and uh, take his, uh, his competitive uh, winning ways from the Whalers off to Skidmore. Uh, we're all very proud of Matt as well. <laughs> Matt uh, was uh, an important part of, uh, of Chaminade's pitching staff last year. Uh, where, you know, I, I was able to see him from the other side of the field and competing against him with St. Anthony's. Uh, Matt was called upon in a lot of different ways with that pitching staff as they um, often had to use that crew creatively, uh, but he always was able to take the ball similar to what, what he did for us in the summer. Um, he was uh, a quality starter every time he went out there. Um, never let the score get to him, never let the situation get to him. Um, was just a reliable, uh, steady arm who could um, who could calm the game with his with his determination straight through. Uh, he didn't have to worry about um, the other team rattling him, the umpire rattling him, the score rattling him. He just took the ball and, and gave you what he was going to give you. Um, and most importantly, came back from uh, an arm injury that cost him a lot of his 16-year year. Um, where he kind of had to to sit the pitching out, you know, try to make it work as a defensive player when I had him last fall, um, and for him to come back from that injury and give us as many innings as he did um, without any without any um, fatigue, uh, very impressive. Um, and it's uh, often you take for granted players' uh, durability. Especially after experiencing an injury, it's easy to, uh, to let that hold you back. He did not. Um, he, uh, not looking forward to competing against him next year, uh, <laughs> nor with his other teammates from Chaminade, who we'll get to in a little bit. Um, but uh, he is also a member of the National Honor Society from uh, Chaminade, and he's headed off to take his, uh, his skills out to Skidmore. We're very proud of him as well. Okay, next we have Liam O'Gara, as I'm told to switch to stage right. Um, Liam was uh, joined the Whalers uh, when he was 14, um, returned two years ago, so he's uh, here as a three-year Whaler. Uh, he's from Mineola, New York, and he is headed to Baruch College to represent us as a left-handed player. Liam is a uh, is another member of uh, Chaminade High School, um, and uh, he, uh, as I said, was uh, a part of us as a, a 14 year old where he was a catcher. Uh, started off as a catcher and has kind of transitioned off to a corner infielder, corner outfielder. Uh, Liam was a centerpiece for our lineup. Um, was a, uh, a important middle of the order left handed bat for us. Always could manage a count. Always put the pitcher on his heels. Um, could draw big counts. Didn't matter whether you hit him lead off or hit him fourth or hit him fifth or hit him second. He always put a quality at bat and uh, embraced whatever role you gave him. Um, same was the was it defensively? Whether he's out in left field, whether he's at first base, whether he's at third base, whether it's late in the tournament, and uh, we needed someone to pitch. He was always uh, saying, "Coach, I'll, I'll pitch if you need me to." Thankfully, never got to that. <laughs> um, but uh, the bottom line is, Liam was always ready to do whatever it took, uh, whatever his team needed, whatever his coach needed, he was there to do. Um, and there's really no better player to have as a college coach uh, than a left-handed bat who's willing to play anywhere on the field and, and do whatever he can to fight his way into the lineup. Uh, and fortunately, Baruch is getting that. Um, you know, Liam is a dangerous hitter, um, a very uh, confident defensive player. Um, and uh, certainly a great representative of our organization, headed to Baruch. Uh, he's a, also a member of the, uh, of the National Honor Society over at Chaminade. He's also on the honor roll of Chaminade, which is not an easy accomplishment <laughs> over there. Um, you know, I went to St. Dominic, so it was a little easier for me to say that. Um, but uh, again, Liam is, a, is uh, another proud representative of a whaler, uh, and we're uh, very excited to see him play over at Baruch this year. Also, the, um, 
something to be said about our, our last three whalers. Adam is the first whaler headed to Citadel. Matt is the first whaler headed to Skidmore, and Liam is the first whaler headed to Baruch. So we're all very excited to kind of spread uh, to, to spread the wealth out to those schools. Uh, next, we're going to talk about Anthony Perino. Anthony, again, couldn't make it. He's the uh, goalie of a very, uh, a very competitive regional hockey team. They have a, uh, a, a crucial game out in New Jersey. He was trying to rush back to get here, unfortunately. Uh, with the distance of travel and a 4 o'clock game, it was not going to be possible for him. Uh, but he'll certainly be watching when this goes up, so we have uh, a lot to say about Anthony as well. Um, Anthony Perino is from Locust Valley. Uh, he goes to Portledge, um, Portledge High School, where he uh, is preparing to do his fourth year of varsity baseball as well, uh, as well as uh, just embarking on his fourth year of varsity hockey, where he's the goalie over there. Anthony is a four-year whaler as well, uh, where he also, like Adam, played up with last year's signing class, uh, was kind of a key role player for them last year, and then this year repeated the 17U level to be a centerpiece. He's headed off to Fordham University to play Division I baseball um, and continue the legacy of a lot of whalers who have gone there, um, one of which was drafted last spring in Greg Weiser. Um, and Greg's brother, Brian, was part of last year's signing class. Um, Reese Kinnear was part of the 2014 signing class, uh, who was named the, the Hampton League Player of the Year by Baseball America. Um, so we're all very proud of, of all the Whalers that have gone for him, uh, and Anthony continues that legacy. Um, he uh, is kind of a jack of all trades defensively. He can play second, play third. Uh, he'll catch if you need him. He'll pitch if you need him to. Um, you can throw him out in the outfield and hope for the best. Um, but he is honestly one of the best athletes I've ever coached. Uh, one of the um, uh, most physically, most physically um, impressive uh, athletes you'll see out there as far as strength and speed. Um, it was a pleasure to coach him as it was all these guys. Uh, he is going to go there uh, and bring his bat speed and his, his leg speed. Um, into the mix of Fordham, and I could see him, uh, you know, being an impact player early there. Um, he uh, again is is about to embark on his fourth year of varsity baseball, um, and uh, uh, another guy that we look back at as a, a proud whaler. And though we couldn't be here today, we're um, still celebrating his uh, his signing at Fordham University, and uh, very proud to have had him uh, part of the organization. Next we have Shane Sullivan. Uh, Shane is also a member of Chaminade High School. Uh, he is from Stewart Manor, New York, and he is headed uh, to represent the Whalers at, uh, at um, Maritime. Um, Shane was our, you know, our go-to shortstop this year, um, you know, a, uh, an outstanding defensive player. Um, he mixed uh, his speed and athleticism on the field. Um, and uh, a lot of times when a, a player um, takes a position uh, they can be confined by what is required of them at that position. Where I'm going to play shortstop, I'm the shortstop. I'm going to go to third, I'm the third baseman. I'm going to go to the center, I'm the center fielder. Um, when Shane went to shortstop, he didn't play the position like a shortstop. He played like an athlete. Um, and he used his athleticism and at times his acrobatics to play the position um, and never let what's expected of, normally expected of a shortstop confine him to what, um, to what he did out there on the field. Um, put together some of the best plays I've, I've seen, um, you know, I've seen as a coach, uh, was uh, creative, innovative, um, and was always, uh, was always um, never shy of the camera, we'll put it that way. Um, <laughs> Shane uh, is also a member of the National Honor Society over at Chaminade. Uh, he is getting ready for his second year of varsity baseball at Chaminade. Uh, another guy I'm not looking forward to competing against um, again, but um, going to uh, Maritime is, is a, a, an impressive feat as well. Um, you know, it's uh, a demanding place to be, um, but uh, Shane is the perfect type of guy to go there. Um, you know, there's... Uh, there's a lot of guys that come through this game. Um, there's a lot of players that I've coached over the years, and 
all five of these guys here are, are the types of guys you're going to want. Uh, you're going to want in your foxhole with you. And uh, I think Shane's a great representative of what we look for as a whaler. Um, and was very, very excited to have coached him. And uh, we're very excited to have him head off to Maritime and represent the next whaler headed out there. Um, so, again, these, uh, these five guys, um, I've been coaching here for a little over a year now. Um, some of some of which uh, it, it's been even longer. Um, the bulk of these guys hopped in with us uh, in 2015, and we kind of uh, had a had a good full squad here last year, um, which culminated in a in a championship out of Diamond Nation. Coach Steve was there with us as well. Um, something the Diamond Nation championship was something that had eluded us over the years, and was very excited to end the year that way. Um, at that time, you know, you're looking at a year ahead and wondering where these guys are going to fit into the puzzle as far as college goes. Uh, and it's, um, it is very uh, uh, humbling to be here today and, and see them with, uh, with their hats and their shirts um, and knowing that they're going to have that opportunity to play college baseball. We have a few other guys who are very close as well, um, you know, to, to signing with their colleges too uh, this time of year. Um, Unfortunately, you have to just kind of pick a date and say this is the day we're going to do it. If it was two weeks later, maybe there'd be two or three more guys here. Um, but uh, at the same time, it's, there's nothing to say uh, and that someone signing right now is in any better opportunity than someone who's signing in December or January. Um, so uh, for you know, for future whalers, uh, we all hope to see you here. We all expect to see you here. Um, but if you're not signed by November, that doesn't mean you're not off to play college baseball. And um, it's it's not about um, it's not about just the recognition, uh, it's about your commitment to the sport and, and your commitment to your goals and your dreams. And this isn't something you should do because um, someone told you that you need to be a college baseball player or um, your neighbor's doing it so you want to do it too. This has to be something that is important to you, uh, that is part of your life, that is uh, part of your goals, part of your dreams. Um, because it is a task. It's demanding. Uh, you're going to find that out when you have to carry a grade and, and uh, compete for a position uh, and live on your own for the first time. Uh, it's not easy. Um, but today is a good day to celebrate uh, your next step in, the, in achieving that goal, in achieving that dream. Um, and the example that you've set for future whalers is something you should be very proud of as well, uh, as well as carrying on the legacy of the, of the, of the ones that have come before you. Um, so, I'm very happy to have you guys here today. I'm very proud of all you guys. It was a pleasure to coach you. Parents, it was a, a, a pleasure um, for you to be part of our family here. Um, I know that uh, I speak on behalf of uh, Kyle Vizza, Jen Vizza, and the Vizza family, uh, as well as Brandon Kurz, Dan Nicholas, uh, and the late Frank Vizza, who um, this is the first year where he is not with us. Um, coach Acevedo as well. Jeff Norman for joining us. We want to thank everyone for making the trip out here. Um, it's uh, as always. It's been a great night. Uh, we're going to have uh, some pictures here at the end. We'll take pictures of group, then parents with your son and, and everything. Jeff will head that out. But uh, we do want to kind of give uh, one last uh, hand and one last applause for these six guys who are going off the side.